So we're taking a few seconds to get all our streams synced up. Hopefully they work today. Um, we have chat. What time is it? It is five o'clock. Do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> I will start. Friends, thank you so much for joining us. We are live at five. My name's Ruel. This is my lovely wife, wife Michelle. Hi. I, I can't talk. Uh, and this is our daughter, Lauren. Hello. Today we are playing Draft Ace, Draftosaurus. This is a great game for families um, and of all ages, I believe. And we'll talk about how the game goes. But first, we want to see how you're doing out there. We've been in um, stay-at-home mode for how has it been over a week now? Oh, I know it feels like it a long time. Like <laughs> yeah, but we've been staying at home, practicing social distancing, being safe. Hope that you are too. I want to see how we're doing, Lauren. How have you been holding up? <coughs> <sighs> <laughs> that good, huh? Yeah, that good. <laughs> what have you been doing with your time? Mostly I've been playing with our pug Bruno. All right. How's Bruno these days? Uh, he takes a lot of naps, <laughs> and I like to wake him up from his naps. Okay. <laughs> cool. Nice. Um, have you been taking him on a lot of walks? Uh, just a few. Uh, we walked, I think this is the second day in a row. Okay. Um... <laughs> Good, yeah. for the, good for him. He's, he's a pug. He needs it. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Nice. And Michelle, what have you been doing these days? Well, I've been doing Zumba. One of my friends is a Zumba instructor and has been holding virtual classes. That's that's really cool. Like, uh, how, how big are the classes? I mean, you guys go through Zoom, is it? The yes. App? Okay. Yes. Um, I think the last class, one of the classes was like 25 students oh wow around okay there. and then another class was less than that probably um about 15 okay I say. right on cool and everyone's participating doing yeah. some at the time that's awesome uh what else have you been up to i've been doing some crafts really crafts <laughs> yes. eh? Yes. i did not know that what kind of crafts well in <laughs> honor of um draftosaurus uh -huh. I made a craftosaurus. <laughs> craftosaurus. <laughs> Amazing. Awesome. Oh my gosh. And this was just made from a toilet paper tube roll and um, a, what do you call this? A paper oh. plate. Uh -huh. And like little things from Amazon from the packaging. Oh, yeah. So. I don't know if you guys can see this there at home. I'll get it a little close. These are the actual, and Michelle cut it out from the Amazon envelope. <laughs> right? I'm sure a lot of us are familiar with those things. And I, I love how you've made the little, use the Amazon smile for the smile. Oh, yes. Yeah, so it's got a dimple on this side, <laughs> but not on this side. Nice. <laughs> Look at that detail, folks. And, uh, oh, these are, this is a surprise for later. Oh, yes. Yeah. We'll talk about that in just a second. Well, the name of this, this dinosaur. Oh, yeah. Yeah, what is the name of your uh, dinosaur? This is Primosaurus. <laughs> and where is Primosaurus from? Primosaurus hails from Amazon land. <laughs> Not the Amazon, but Amazon land. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Close. <laughs> They're right next to each other. <laughs> nice. Um, yeah, it's so, so great. Can we have, let's let's put uh, Primosaurus here. Oh, okay. So everyone at home can enjoy your crafting. Yeah, that's <laughs> so awesome. Folks, let's talk about Draftosaurus. So if you haven't uh, already seen it, today was the announcement of the American Tabletop Awards winners. Full di disclosure, I am one of the committee members and we were happy and proud and we put a lot of work into this, so we're very happy and proud to announce the winners this year. We had four different categories. We had the Complex Games categories, which was won by the Taverns of Tiffenthal, the Strategy Games category, which was won by Wingspan, the Casual Games category, which was won by Ship Shape, and finally, the early gamers strategy, uh, early gamers category, which was won by Draftosaurus. Yay! So Draftosaurus, this is a game where we are all in charge of our little parks that have dinosaurs in them. And during the game, we are going to draft, and this means we're going to go in our little secret bag here. It's full of dino meeples, folks. This is I, I love this game. You got little dinosaur meeples. There's the Triceratops. There is the T-Rex, ah, and so forth. Uh, we draw randomly from the bag. We're going to draw six of them and keep them in our hand. And what we do is uh, each round we take a dinosaur, we hold it out here, then we reveal at the same time. Uh, let's say in this example I have a Triceratops. And at the same time we're going to determine where they're going to go in our park. 
and how you do that is the active player rolls the die. There's a six-sided die, and whatever this side, whatever the die lands on, is where determines where the other players, the non-active players, are going to place their dinosaurs. The active player, in this case me, I can place it anywhere I want. But Michelle and Lauren, this example, they would have to place in the coffee or the restaurant side, which is the left side of the board. So each little section of the park has different scoring uh, mechanisms. So, for instance, up here in the four, one of the four sections, if you have dinosaurs that are all the same, you get more points depending on how many you've uh, placed there. So if I place one Triceratops here at the end of the round, I would get two points. But if I had two Triceratops, Triceratops or Triceratai? Do you know what the plural is? I have never had to use this in a sentence. Me neither. So first time for everything. What do you think, Lauren? You're in uh, college. <laughs> Triceratopsis. Triceratopsis. Okay. <laughs> if I had two of these dinosaurs here, I would get four points at the end of the round. The end of the round is when we go through all of the dinosaurs in the bag. It'll be basically twice a round. And there's different scoring. Uh, this is for all the same dinosaurs. This section here is any three dinosaurs can go in here. The section down here near the restaurant is two dinosaurs of the same. So if I had two Triceratops here, there would be five points. You could have more than one pair. But if you have like a lone, one lone dinosaur, he doesn't get anything. Speaking of lone dinosaurs, if you have one lone dinosaur in this section here, if that dinosaur is the only one of that type on your whole part, then you get seven points. So it's lonely because it has a broken heart. Um, uh, okay. And then this dinosaur, uh, this section of the park is different dinosaurs. So, so for every different dinosaur you have here, you will score points. If I had these three different dinosaurs, I would get six points total. And finally, we have the king or the queen of the jungle. Whatever dinosaur you place in this section, if you have the, uh, you count this one plus all the other ones in your park, if you have the most compared to your opponents or you're equal to, like if I had three Triceratopsis and Lauren had three Triceratopsis, we, I would get seven points. But if she had four and I had three, I would get zero. Finally, the river. This is where on any turn you may always put a dinosaur there like if you just didn't want to or you could not put it in any other section due to the dice roll. You put it there, the dinosaur is safe, it's worth one point. It's like getting a bath, right? Um, another rule, and this is uh, this will remind you here in the top corner, whenever you put a Triceratops somewhere that section will get an extra point because Triceratops are like the awesome dinosaurs. So is if I had a T-Rex? Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah, T-Rex. My bad. I forgot. I, yeah, the T-Rex with little tiny arms. So, uh, the T-Rex, he or she will give you an extra point per section. If you have two tri uh, two T-Rexes in a section, it's still only worth one bonus point. So that's the summer side. We also have the winter side, which we'll talk about when we go there. We're going to play uh, two games, the summer-winter, um, both rounds, because it's a pretty quick game. You could... Uh, most times we just play one. We'll just play the summer side because it's quick and easy. It's a really good filler game. But uh, for today, since it's so quick, we, we've got time. You've got time. You're gonna, we're going to hang out and play two sides. Uh, how's our comments? I haven't even been looking at our comments. Um, well, Triceratops is, is correct. Oh, it is correct. <laughs> yes, it is correct. Nice. Go college. Go yes. college. Yay, yes. College. Social uh, distancing gasaurus. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> nice. The social distancing disorders. I love it. Um, any other comments? I can't see the comments on this thing. Comments off. Comments oh, I think you off. just turned it off. Oh, did yeah. I turn it off? Okay. Oh, here they are. Yeah. <laughs> Should we okay. say hi to some people? Yeah, let's say hi. Christopher, yeah, Chris says Triceratops. Sorry, uh, Primosaurus. Carla Freeman, thank you for joining us. Good to see you. Um, yes, definitely get it for your grandsons. It's it's a great game. Hi, Candy. Hi, Jason. Hi, Jay. The Turn of the River. I see where this is about. The Turn of the River. I love it. Jay with the hi, poker Alfrey. reference. And hi, Adrian. <laughs> and hi, Coach Ng, if I am still supposed to call you that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're a grown-up now. <laughs> First name basis. <laughs> so, uh, for the game, to start the game, we are. Um, I'll start the action here as the active player. We have these cups. Um, we're going to put our dinosaurs in the cups so they're just easier to handle. And these cups are from the Philippines, actually. Uh, my folks went to the PI, the motherland, a few months back, and I had them pick these up because they're perfect for board games. So I'm going to draw six, and you don't show these to your opponents. One, two, three, four, five. 
six. I'll go to Lauren. I'll put these here. I'm so going to put this guy here so you don't look at my screen. Ah, okay, good. <laughs> candy. We always need more games. Agreed. Hey, a little shout out to um, what is today again? The American Go Takeout, Takeout Day. Takeout Tuesday. Go support your local businesses. Go eat out. We went out to our local pupuseria today and got pupusas, rice, beans, and taquitos, and a bunch of other stuff. So support local business. I'm also rocking the Four Color Fantasy shirt today. That's my local comic book store. Um, comics are, they are not essential, they say, but reading is, and I believe comics are too. So please support your local comic book store. This one's been kind enough for me for the fi last five years hosting our regular game nights. So shout out to Chris Brady and the staff there. Um, hope you guys are doing well. Does everyone have six dinosaurs? Yes. Okay, let's go. So I'm going to roll the die. Um, the first dinosaur must be placed on the right side, which is the bathroom side. So... And I get to place anywhere I want. We all place, right? Uh, yes. Yeah, so we're going to draw one and then put, place in your hand. In your oh. hand first, Lauren. Yeah. In oh, hand. I forgot about that. Yeah. I always do that. Okay. And then we are going to reveal. Okay, on reveal three. All right. So I'm doing this orange one. I can place it anywhere. And then you on pass. The bathroom site. Yes. Okay. And then you pass your dinosaurs to the player on your left. Uh, Lauren, you would go this way to your mom. And Lauren, you would draw. <laughs> oh, shoot. I got the... <laughs> yeah, take out year, definitely, right? I got the cup, the mug, so the left-hand side of the board. Yes, okay. except for you. You may place anywhere. Oh. Okay. Okay, and we reveal. I'm going to left side of the board. Oops. Robert Lawrence is watching, it says. Oh, that has a hey, problem Robert. Mine. Hey, Rob. <laughs> Hi, Robert. Okay, and Michelle will roll. Okay. Hey, Rob, look, it's Primosaurus. <laughs> oh, speaking of Primosaurus, well, we'll wait till after you. Okay, what is this? It's a triangle with the dinosaur? Yeah, so that means, um, go ahead and show the camera, please. Oh. This means that That's everyone else that. must place a dinosaur wherever there is no T Rex. And Mich but Michelle gets to place it anywhere. So as long as there's no T Rex, you get to place a dinosaur somewhere. Okay, and it doesn't matter bathroom side or restaurant side. Yeah. Okay. And for you, because you you're the active player, it you can place matter. somewhere. Yeah. Okay. Anywhere. Okay. okay. And then we reveal. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then we pass. That and won't be the last time that happens. I know. We always, we always yeah, do I'm that. I'm just gonna pass the die oh, with you. Okay. I'll roll the die. So, Michelle and Lauren must place it in a desert one, or it, the ones with the rocks. So, it's the bottom two and the one to the right there. Anything okay. with rocks. Uh, I get to place anywhere I want. And reveal. Pass. See how quick this game goes by? Really fast game. I wonder, is Melissa watching? Melissa, are you there? I hope your um, son Dax is ready because we, we have a surprise for him. Rocks. So Mountains. Lauren goes anywhere, we must go in the desert or we the must rocks. Go in the rocks. Yes. Okay. In the rocks. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Whoops. Okay. In place. This is a very narrow parking space. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, and we have one dinosaur left for this round, and Michelle will roll the die, and we'll see what happens. Rocks. Rocks. All right, perfect. Okay, uh, so this goes what? Oh, Okay, so the broken heart means that that's the only one... On your whole park. Oh. Yeah. Okay, and then this one... Is uh, the king or queen of the jungle. You place that there. You count up all the ones of that species that you have on your board, and if you have equal to or greater than anyone, everyone else, you get seven points. So, yeah, you're in the lead for the blue one, Stegosaurus, right now. Okay. All right. So that's round one of the summer side. Uh, now we do round two. We just draw six more. Well, I think you should do a fun fact. Oh, speaking of, Michelle, what is this here on Primosaurus? Oh, Primosaurus has some fun facts about dinosaurs. Oh, does he or does she? Let's, yes. Uh, would you like to read one? Sure. One, two. Okay. 
Fun fact number one. <laughs> dino, dino facts. Okay. Um... Dinosaurs are a group of reptiles that have lived on Earth for about 245 million years. Wow, that's a long time. We may need a fact checker. Oh, yeah. So, Melissa and Dax, if you want to check that fact for us, we'd appreciate it. We believe it's true, but... <laughs> it's gonna, on the internet. It's on the internet, must be true, but I'm going to rely on my man, Dax. All right. Uh, so, Michelle, you get the final... should be the final six dinosaurs in there. Okay. And this is round two of the summer side. We are playing Summer and Winter. Tyler Boson is watching. Okay. Hello, Tyler. Hi, Tyler. Hi, Tyler. Okay. Your Aunt Jackie is watching. Oh, too. hi, Auntie Jackie. Hi, Auntie Jackie. <laughs> um, this one is, I'm going to have to check the, hey, look at the rule book. Uh, let's make sure that we're playing this correctly. The rules say when that symbol is shown, you must place it in an empty pen. So anywhere that's empty, you place the dinosaur. Oh, if okay. you have no empties, then you would place the dinosaur in um, the river. Candy, I, I think I remember dinosaur eggs. Were those the... Was it a toy with a little dinosaur, or were they candy? Do you remember what dinosaur eggs were? No. No? Okay. Never mind. Okay. Everyone ready? Oh, oh. no. Oh, you did okay. It <laughs> Reveal. So I'm going okay. here. Again. Oh, wait. It has to go somewhere new. Somewhere without a dinosaur, yes. Except for me, I active player gets to place wherever they want. Okay. Whoops. Well, we do that. Okay. All right. Pass the dinosaurs. Oops. Good die. Thank you. It kind of works with the yeah, die right? thing. Okay. Triangle T Rex. Yeah, so um, Michelle and I cannot place a dinosaur where there's a T Rex. You may place wherever you want. Oh. On either side. Either side, yep. Okay. Okay. Ooh, okay. what do I do? I get all your orange yeah, dinosaurs right? already. Okay, ready and reveal. I'm gonna since I think I got all the most dinosaurs, he's gonna be the king of my park. Oh, did I want the Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> I should have made different choices. <laughs> Stakes were made. Okay, so this one is a place where there are no dinosaurs. Where there are no dinosaurs okay. except for you, you may place anywhere you would like. Well, no okay. dinosaurs. Okay. Oof. Okay. okay. And we reveal. I see Daryl's watching. What's up, buddy? Hi, Daryl. Hi, Daryl. I'm going to place that one there. And I roll. It is anywhere, an empty pen. Anywhere there's no dinosaur. Ugh. An empty pen. Except for me. I get to go anywhere. Shoot. So how many of each dinosaur are there? Uh, there is uh, six different types of dinosaurs. And how many of each? I believe there are six each in this in the two player or three player game. There are uh, thirty six go in the bag, so that is six dinosaurs of each. But did you randomly take some out? Uh, no, we specifically took out four of each species. Oh, okay. So there will be six of the six. Michelle's doing math. <laughs> well, Michelle's mapping that out. <laughs> mapping? Is, is that a word? It is a verb now. <laughs> okay. Um, here's a fun, fun dinosaur fact for you, brought to you by our friends on, at the American Museum of Natural History. According to their website, dinosaur fossils have been found on all seven continents. Ding! I don't know why I did that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, are All we ready right. to place um, the reveal? I think. Okay, I'm doing this one. So, again, I'm the actor player. I get to place it anywhere. Hey, you know, when you put these together, it looks like the, the sun on the Philippine flag. Hey, no way. It does. <laughs> Just, you know, Look at that. throwing it out okay. there. <laughs> one random fact. Look at that. Okay. Those are both mine. Thank you. Oh. Uh, so I'm passing this to you. Okay. This one is... Tree. Tree. So we have to go in any four section. That's the these three there, right? The trees. Okay. Oh man. All right. Wow. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get stuck. Yeah. Me too. Boo. Okay. Uh. All right. I know what I'm gonna do. And reveal. So again, you can always place a dinosaur in the river for just one point, which I'm doing. My um. I don't know what the name of this guy is. Not Stegosaurus, but he's taking a bath. <laughs> okay. As dinosaurs often do. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, man, I wish I would have known I was getting this. Okay. Okay. And bathroom side. Bathroom side. You must place it there. Um, but you may always place in the river if you'd like. So I'm going to do that. Oh, yeah. So final piece. So. Oh, well, it doesn't matter then. Okay. So if you don't complete the, um, the description, uh -huh. you don't get points, right? Correct. And you don't get the bonus for the T-Rex. Okay. Well, yeah. you know what? It's taking a bath. Okay. All right, let's, uh, so that's the end of uh, the summer side. Uh, we played two rounds, and I'm going to uh, do some math here first. Okay, so where, oh, here it is, our handy-dandy score pad. So I had uh, 12 points for my orange dinosaurs. I had two points for my dinosaurs taking a bath, so that's 14. I had, one t I had 10 more points for this pen, so that's 24. I did not get, oh yeah, I did. So he's the Lonely Heart, so he gets seven points for 31. Oh, and I forgot to give myself a bonus for T-Rex, so it's 32. Plus, I have five orange dinosaurs, is that the most? Yes. Okay, so what did I say, 32 plus seven, 39? I'll get to double check, so 12, 14, 21, 31, 32, 39. So I had 39 this round. Oof. Lauren? Uh, so, uh, because I didn't have the most T-Rexes. I think you did. Or, How many T-Rexes did you have? Oh, oh, three? Yeah, three. I only have two. Yeah, I have oh, one. Okay. So you get seven. Seven, uh -huh. and then uh, two okay, for so the, uh -huh. the duplicates one. Yep, that's nine. I didn't score this one. Okay. Six for the not equal sign ones. Okay, 15. Um, five for the pair. 20. Seven. For the single, the broken hearted dinosaur. Nice, 27. And then two dinosaurs in the river. 29, nice. Well, I also did the pink one. Oh. Right there. Okay. Oh, oh like uh, mother, like daughter. <laughs> oh. Nice. Okay, so on the top one, um, where they're supposed to be equal, I got eight points. Eight, okay. Okay, I didn't score the other one where okay. they're supposed to be different. Mm -hmm. Didn't score the, the one where they're supposed to be friends. Okay. Um, so this one I have three total. I have one right? blue. And okay. then I think Lauren only had two. Yeah, so you're good. So I got seven for that. Yep. Um, for the ones that are not equal, I got ten points. Nice. So you're 25. Um, for the broken heart, mm -hmm. I got seven. Nice. 32. And then one more for the guy in the river. All right, 33. Very nice. So after round one, this is the summer side, the summer game. Um, Lauren, I'll have you put those back in the bag. Uh, I have 39, Michelle has 33, Lauren has 29. Now, we're going to flip the board over and go to the winter side. Uh, this is a little more difficult. This is a lot, uh, yeah, so it's similar to the uh, first side, but it's different scoring styles. So let's go over those. Well, dinosaur down. Ah, uh, dino down. So while Lauren's getting the dinosaur, can you, you want to, okay, there she goes. <laughs> Uh, I'll go over the winter rules. So we haven't played the winter side that much, so I want to make sure I get this right. So we have the first one, a well-ordered wood. This pen can hold, only hold two different species of dinosaurs in a specific order. So this one's interesting. So you got the dinosaur one? Yes. Okay. So this one here, whatever dinosaurs you pick, they have to alternate. <coughs> it's only two. So if I picked um, a yellow triceratops for the first one, I must... And then the next one has to be another color. And then the third one has to be another Triceratops. And then the fourth one has to be matching that. So it's like stripes, racing mm -hmm. stripes, right? Okay. That's a good way to think of it. Yeah. And then the next section, oh. right in the middle. Yeah, yeah, we're on the winter side. Uh, the Lover's Bridge, right and left riverbanks. This pen is divided into two sub pens. And on each side of the river, they can hold dinosaurs of any species. At the end of the game, it brings six victory points for each dinosaur couple that has a, one member in each sub pen. So if I had a, two T-Rexes here, and one T-Rex and a Brontosaurus here, then I would get points for the T-Rexes. So six points per couple. Okay? Uh, the pyramid at the bottom. This is pretty easy. It can hold up to six dinosaurs, but they cannot be the same as the ones up, um, up below them. So if I had a green, an orange, and a red here, I could not have a red here. It has to be a different color. You'll see the unequal signs there. And then all the way to the top. So it's basically going to be different dinosaurs um, all the way up. Just like that. I don't know if you guys can see that at home. <laughs> 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 oh, 
What's up, buddy? I'm missing the chat. So Tobias says, Carla, when you get this for the boys, will it be gift raptor? Not. <laughs> <laughs> Tobias, that's my favorite comment. Nice. Um, so that's the pyramid. We have the lookout. The lookout is, um, oh, this is interesting. This lookout pen here can only hold one dinosaur, but it brings two victory points for, oh, no way. It can, it holds more than one dinosaur. Sorry. This pen can hold only one dinosaur. At the end of the game, it brings two victory points for each dinosaur in the zoo of the player on your right that is on the same species as the one in your pen. What? Yeah. Oh. So if I put this here, my yellow triceratops, uh -huh. I count how many po on the triceratops you have, and I get two points per. So if you had three yellows, I would get six points. Ah. Yeah. So for you, you would be watching what Lauren has. Oh, okay. see, so that's why you like this. Yeah. Because you're always in my business. Yeah, I'm always watching your dinosaurs. Yeah. Okay. And finally, we have one last section, the quarantine zone up here in the <laughs> top right. <laughs> Quar oh, quarantine zone. Yeah, this, yeah, this is... This is uh, obviously very um, irrelevant right now. The quarantine zone. This pen can hold one dinosaur. At the end of the game, move this dinosaur to any other pen in your zoo or to the river and uh, obey placement rules before counting your points. So it's basically a way to save a dinosaur for the end of the game. You can move it anywhere you want. Oh, okay. Okay. And the river is the same thing. At any point, you may put a, put a dinosaur there for a bath and they'll get one point per. That's it. And the same thing, we're going to play two um, rounds. And were those supposed to be in here? I oh, you drew your six. Yeah. Okay. So we're drawing six again, and we'll play two rounds. Tally up the scores, do the totals, and that will be the end of the game. How are you guys? Thanks again for joining us. We are live at five. We do this every day, um, playing a different game every day. Actually, we may have to repeat some games. There's a couple of games I would like to play again. Like Astro the, Trash. Like Astro <laughs> Trash. That was too much fun. And also number nine. A stretch before that. Yeah, one. seriously. Okay, um, who went first? I think you, you did. did. Okay, so should I go first this turn or should Lauren? We'll have Lauren oh, go Lauren. first. Yeah. Okay, Lauren. Rocks. Oh. Yeah. So it's the same thing. The rocks, the raw or desert sections, just like in the other board. Oh. And same rules. Uh. Active player gets a place anywhere. Okay. A little trickier. Okay, so rocks. Yeah. Oh. And reveal. Okay. And pass. And Michelle will roll. Oh, and same thing for the T-Rexes. Where they go, they get an extra point for that section. Okay, so the place where there are no dinosaurs. Okay, so we place anywhere where there's no other dinosaur. Hmm, excuse me. Right now. <laughs> okay. Oh. And reveal. We've got a T Rex. He's going to go here. What is this section again? This is the lookout. This holds. This is the quarantine zone up here. Oh, this is the quarantine zone here. And then this top one here is. It's safe for later. Safe for later with the lookout. Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, did we exchange dinosaurs? Uh, this one's not used. Oh. oh. This is fine. Okay, so I'm going to roll. Rocks. And it's rocks or the desert, and I get to go anywhere. Oh, why did I do that? Um. Okay, and reveal. And place. All right, Lauren's up. Um, the T Rex one? Anywhere where there's no T Rex. Oh. For us, but you anywhere. Okay. For real? Getting serious over here. Serious <laughs> quiet. Um, so what's that? The anywhere where the there's triangle? no T Rex. Okay, anywhere there's no T Rex. Did I want that? I don't know if I wanted that. I, know, I can't I see what Lauren has. Ah, 
Okay. Okay, this one. Okay, reveal. Oops. Uh, what was this one? Oh, wait. What was this one? Quarantine. You know, put him there and wait till the end of the game, and then you can place him in there. Oh, I thought that was that one. Uh, switch it. The, this one is uh, look out. That's where you look at your Lauren and see what she has, and you get two oh. points for it. So you can switch. I mean, it's... No, yeah. no, it's all right. No, because you want to do that for quarantine, right? That one? Um... Yeah. Yeah, that, that's okay. probably fine. Yeah. Okay. And then that yeah, that one you can place anywhere. <laughs> okay. Okay. Last one. Y'all have to put it in the forest section. In the forest section. Do I have to? Yes. Or you can put it in the river. For in point. the river. Oh, it's gonna be cold in that river. <laughs> My poor dinosaurs. No yeah. wonder they went extinct. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna this is the second round of the winter side. Wonder if there are any Dinosaur facts that we could, that you know of, like to share? Let me see. All right. Primosaurus has, is a prime source of information. <laughs> but a bunch. Modern birds are a kind of dinosaur because they share a common ancestor with non-avian dinosaurs. Oh, very cool. The birds share an ancestor with non-avian dinosaurs? It says on the internet. Yeah. I see. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. I don't know. Our fact checker has not checked. Yeah. In. Where's our friend? Okay. Oh, yeah. Have So this is the final round of the game, folks. Uh, bathroom side. So bathroom. right side. Right side. Oh. <laughs> and reveal. Hi, Auntie Vinny. Hi. And okay. Lauren will roll? No. Oh, oh. Uh, <laughs> are we revealing? Sorry. No. No, we're done. Who I'm, I'm going to roll. Okay. Facebook yeah. gets us confused all the time. <laughs> <laughs> why are you looking at me? I don't know. <laughs> okay, so the Christmas tree? Uh, it's forest. Forest. Okay. okay. What y'all got? Forest. Mm. <laughs> yeah. So, bless, bless you. you. So on this one, does it have to be in order, or can you can you put like you can put another pink one here or uh, over there? I think it must be in order. That's a good question. So they must be placed left to right and alternating. Yes. Oh, okay. Well, that kind of hurts. Yeah, that's tough. Oh man, oh man. Okay, I'll do this one then. Well, that's gonna be hard. Yeah. But what was this one again? I forgot. Uh, that one's you're looking at Lauren and um, whatever she has there, you'll be scoring two points okay. per. Okay. Oh, so hmm. Yeah, and you can only put one dinosaur there. Man. Okay. You ready? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Reveal. So. Oh. <gasps> oh wow! We all picked we the all same the, one. The I want to put it back now. <laughs> I know. That's not a good sign. Yeah, that is definitely not good. Well, in that case, I'm gonna go. I don't know. I'll go there. Oh, that goes with that. Thank you. That's yours. Lauren is rolling now. No, you're rolling. Oh, I'm rolling. I have to die. <laughs> it is any spot without a T Rex. Any spot with no T Rex. But I get to place wherever okay. I want. Okay. Stop bragging. <laughs> Ready, reveal. Put it right there. I've got a dinosaur couple. I got a couple of couples. Oh, dang, nice. Okay, and Lauren, you're up. Oh. Ooh. Ah! Uh, the rocks. The rocks. Except for me, right? Correct. The rocks. Ooh, eh. I got a spot. <laughs> okay. Thanks again for joining us, folks. Just a reminder, we are playing Draftosaurus, the 2020 Tabletop Game of the Year for the Early Gamers category. Oh, Wait, rocks. Oh, oh man. Rock okay. River's always open. <sighs> what if they want to come out of the river? Because they're dry. Yeah, they're they want dry. To dry off. Yeah, they can dry off at the end of the game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ready? Yeah. Reveal. Okay. I think I got Stegosaurus, so Stegosaurus is going there. So, mm, is... I don't know if I can finish that. It's going in the river. Oh. Time Stop. For a... <laughs> Oh. Okay. Um, 
Where there is not a dinosaur? Where there is not a T-Rex. A T-Rex. No T-Rex okay. allowed. Okay. No T-Rex. Oh, I can do that. Sweet. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, no. no I'm going to go this way. I want this <laughs> Okay. I'm ready now. Uh, uh, wait. One, two, three. Oh, wow. Okay. okay. And reveal. So I'm going here. Oops. There. There. Oh, shoot. The final one is anywhere where there's no T Rex. No. I know. No. <laughs> Re roll. Re -roll. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Get the rules out. Now my river is getting really full with dinosaurs here. Uh -oh. Y'all want to bathe. Oh, no. Oh, sorry, I forgot. To, okay, reveal. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, uh, we are done. This is the end of the game. We have played the summer side. We have now just completed the winter side. Now let's score the points for each section. So I'm gonna, I'll start. Uh, so for the top section, the well-ordered wood with the alternating dinosaurs, I have three of them for eight points. And then for the Pan Lover's Bridge, right and left banks, um, I have two T-Rexes, so they're worth six points, and a T-Rex gives me a bonus one point, so seven points. Um, I have on my lookout, I'm looking at my player on the left, how many blues do you have, Michelle? I have two. So I get two points first, blue, so that's four points. You said player to your left, right? Uh, did I say player to the left at the start of the game? Or right now? What did I say at the start? The lookout is player on your right. Oh, okay. Okay, were you playing it the other way? Honestly, um, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> no, that makes sense because if we were playing oh, like, yeah. in a circle, you would be to my right. Yeah. I was looking at yours. Your, yeah, and I was looking at yours. Oh, okay. Okay, but if oh. you're looking at your mom's, that's cool too because... Okay. I don't know, it's okay. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. Uh, obviously, we play totally by the rules here. Um, so I have two T-Rexes. Oh, I did that for four. I did my T-Rex um, couple there. Now, you look here. I have completed all of them. They're not the same. So I go to the top. I have seven points there. So I have 15, 19, 26 total. And then that's it. Uh, then I total from both scores. Five, I have 65 total points for the game. Wait, this doesn't count per line? Correct. It's as far as you go. Oh. Let me check the pyramid. Uh, the first three. At the end of the game, it brings in victory points based on the number of dinosaurs in it and their position. So it's not cumulative. Like, maybe you don't get two and oh, then yeah. four and then seven. Oh, maybe, maybe you do. So because like the other one, yeah, yeah, the circles... Because like the circles, point. the way they go here, it's 2, 4, 8, 12. You get the high. Oh, you get the highest one. You don't get all of them. Oh, that yeah, yeah that's yeah. true. Yeah. So this is true, too. You, the higher you go, the more points you get. So I got 7 here and I got 8 here. That was a lot of work for 7 That was, points. right? Yeah. <laughs> I thought I was getting more. Yeah. Me, too. Okay. Well, you got a lot of points. So let's go ahead and total up your score, Lauren. Ah, okay. Uh, I got 2 okay. for the upper left corner, uh -huh. the, the, the wood one. Uh-huh. And then this one, I look to yours. Yes. So I get another two. Okay, so four points. And then I got 12 nice. for the, the bridge one. Uh -huh. And then I guess I only get seven for the pyramid. Yeah, the pyramid's not as great as I thought it would be. So six, 13, uh, 23. So total, Lauren had 23 plus 29 is 52. 52. Okay, and wow. Michelle. Okay, so top left, I got four points. Okay. Okay, what was this one? Uh, look to Lauren and how many of okay, those you so have. Three. Oh, so that's six. Six points for me. Nice, so ten total now. Okay, so then I have two couples. Okay, twelve points. Then I already forgot what this oh, one was. Oh, that one is you can place it anywhere at the end of the game. <laughs> it doesn't help in me. The river. In the river for a point. Okay. Okay. So then in the river I've got four. Okay. Oh, and then the T Rex. Uh, one point bonus for this T-Rex. What about this one in the river? Another. Uh, no, the, the T-Rexes don't give bonus in the river. Oh. Yeah, that's the only thing. They want to be clean, too. They are clean. They just don't get extra points. <laughs> <laughs> so, 26, but then plus that one. So, you scored the highest this round, 27. 
And for the total of 10, carry the 1, 60. Wow, close game. So, final scores, Lauren had 52, Michelle had 60, and I had 65. That's the game, folks. How do we like it? I, we've played this game before. Oh, yeah. How do we like Draftosaurus? I love this game. Yes. Well, it's just, it's simple, it's fast, and I think, we play it with players of all ages and yeah. ga uh, gaming abilities, I guess. Lauren, you've played it a few times now? Or? I think this is my second time. Okay. I haven't played the snowy side before. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely trickier than the first side, right? The yeah, side. yeah. Yeah. And I feel like, yeah, this one, it, I, I agree with you. I feel like you do all this work and you don't get that many points. Yeah. Like, obviously, the points, you guys both scored a lot of points on the couples. I didn't even get a couple. Or I got one couple. But Hey, we got the same couples. Wow, look at that, yeah. We got the yellow and green guys. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So Chris says, uh, yeah, I think I like the dinosaur facts the most, though. Need to get fact checker. I, I agree, Chris. Let's let's give you one more uh, dinosaur fact. Uh, dinosaur fact. There are roughly 700 known species of extinct dinosaurs. That's a lot of dinos. So <laughs> maybe we should bring back these dino facts during non-dino games. What do you think? Sure. Okay. Maybe our dino fact checker will be on. Yes, yes. Hopefully uh, he'll be joining us next time. Uh, so that is the end of Draftosaurus. Thanks again for joining us, folks. I really appreciate you taking your time out and just hanging out with us while we play games, and maybe you're playing this game too. Uh, one cool thing, I really want to shout out some friends, uh, Robert and Melissa, who bought games after they saw us play them on our live sheets. So that's really cool. Uh, Astro Trash and Number 9. So thanks for supporting. They do, right? <laughs> Thank you so much again for joining us, folks. Oh, uh, what are we playing tomorrow? Oh, tomorrow. Yeah, what are we playing tomorrow? Lauren, can you, what do we have here? Oh, sorry. We have Lotus from our friends at Renegade Game Studios. We're going to play Lotus. This is a great game. Perfect for the springtime because it's about flowers. We're going to be uh, Lotus or flowers, right? Flower. Yes, yes. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, we'll be playing that tomorrow um, at live at 5. So 5 p.m. PST here on Facebook Live, just like we always do. Thank you again so much for joining us, folks. Tate, I just saw your message. Good to see you. Thank you so much for joining us. We will see you tomorrow live at 5. Bye. Bye. Wash your hands. Okay. <laughs>